Welcome back to... <laughs> they didn't see that one coming. We're just placing a few Assessment trebuchet. Um, <laughs> it's inside of fortress. And um, the, the sieges... Um, the besiegers have become the besieged. I mean, they deserve it, so no, we're fine. Oh, that's important. Right. Gold every second. So uh, for that we need 800 gold. Who's shooting at my my building? Do they have a trebuchet? Who's shooting at that building? Why is it almost destroyed? The heck? Oh, more French toasts. Okay, um, we need to upgrade our knights. Uh, for that we need 600 again, okay. And... Hmm. Yes, very good. Let's try the siege workshop. And we're going to take two of them. And those we're going to destroy the French. At least one of their forts. We're gonna leave these three trebuchet out here to harass <coughs> those that try to besiege us. Gain control of the city. Fuse for glow, ready to go. Hark at your wall. We have a test. Yes, for Shazon is fair. Rocket, the Hestas will be obeyed. Follow in the Dictus, ready. In good battle, no. For that. 
Okay, we have spearmen, so we should upgrade our spearmen. Oh boy! Oh, it was too early. Are they coming now? <laughs> oh, come on. Um. And I want to Oh, for freaking sake, those crossbow men just obliterated one. Is 
shall do any work. Mistress, what net is crossing them? Stirred and men, they sink it on the spoil. Obedience to virtue is. Steering to air. I wonder if we destroy the southern fort, if then um, units come from the eastern fort, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure. Nee, 
The king's army tore through the French fort, weakening the enemy siege. You ready for the next worker on the roll? Nitas fusing for glory. Nitas in good battle mode. Good air. We have new hess. Follow in the search engine, you frickin'. Where Nitas are near ready for stool. Obeisance. Intended. Este is our common. Nictus fusing for glory. It is he, Nictus. Good freedom and force. Ich shall obey. A weapon. Ich shall obey. I shall obey. <laughs> okay. He obey and freedom for. He honor Hestus. Posture. Gamat the command. I would have liked a few more details. Villages, trade routes, something like that. Map feels a bit empty. Thousand five hundred stones at a joke. Yeah. I mean, I doubt that we will get attacks coming from that direction, but it doesn't hurt. Maybe, maybe there is a surprise army coming from that direction, so let's be ready. John Tell Nita, Rapalan, Nita, see, ready? 
Guess we have all upgrades, right? Maybe we could build a keep, it doesn't hurt. Obliterate the house and the outpost. Now we could build a keep, but do I really need that? Do we need? No, so sure. Oh, elevation. I haven't seen that much in this game. Most strategy games lack elevation. It's a shame. Why is there so much gold lying around? Oh, shut up, 
Epsip, we're losing. Hestus for the trebuchet. Casting out these bottles. The says of Ulchen. Glasses and Baron are not good. Dan Carving and Orion can hit where they be all done. Hestus for the trebuchet. The Hestus will be obeyed. Getting on with it. The says of Jin's army ready. The king's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings, but the French siege continued. Oops.
I like how the AI is just openly cheating. It has obviously no economy at all. I mean, at least in Age of Empires, you had an AI that had an economy. I mean, sure, there was a problem in Age of Empires with the economy, and that was that the AI just obliterated all resources on the entire map, and <laughs> you were left with nothing, but this is not the way uh, Microsoft... I mean, I like this historical setting. I like the approach they're taking, but for heck's sake... The AI in terms of gameplay, that's a big step back. William Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. William Marshall's success in retaking Lincoln was an overwhelming victory for the Royalists. The rebel barons had been defeated, and their French allies driven out of England altogether. William Marshall now focused on creating a stable kingdom for the young King Henry III. To maintain the backing of the rebels, in 1217, a royal seal of approval was given to a reissued Magna Carta, limiting the power of the monarchy. Many barons held lands in both England and Normandy. But now they faced a choice. On which side of the channel would they make their home? Many chose England. The cross-channel kingdom was over, establishing a clear English identity. But the impact of the Normans on England's evolution is still felt today. Almost a thousand years later, the surviving Norman castles and cathedrals still dominate the landscape. In the midst of the modern city, William the Conqueror's fortress, the Tower of London, remains a powerful reminder of their legacy. But it's the unseen influence of the Normans that endures. The Norman invasion changed the English language and establish the foundations of modern parliament and governance. And it's all because one man, William the Conqueror, claimed the English crown that he believed by rights was his. The Normans conquered a country and changed the course of England forever. What? Wait, what? I don't get XP. What? Oh, come on, Microsoft. Seriously? I didn't get XP for this? Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Uh, unlockable content. Ah! Alrighty. A page from history. Nicola, Sheriff of Lincolnshire. In the upheaval of civil war, Lincoln Castle became a critical fortification in the fight for England's crown at the forefront of its defense of an unlikely figure, an aging woman. 
Lady Nicola de la Haye lived in a time when husbands were the gatekeepers of their wife's power. Yet, through grit and loyalty, Nicola became an admired and even feared custodian of Lincoln. She personally planned and directed the defense of the castle through two sieges and regular attacks, staunchly holding a position against the odds. King John and his heir, Henry III, owed their crowns to Nicola. They spoke of her fondly as our beloved and faithful Nicola de la Haye. Alrighty, we've seen those two, right? Yeah, William we've seen Marshall's that one. Yes, 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 yes. And we've seen that one. Alrighty. Um, so we're done with the Normans. And um, next, the Hundred Years' War, which didn't actually last a hundred years. But, um,. Don't tell that to the people that fought in it. And, um... The Combat of the Thirty. Stay tuned, stay healthy, stay positive, if you can. You know the drill. If you can't, find a way. I don't care. I mean, I do care, don't hurt other people. I mean, there are people who get positive vibes from hurting others. Don't do that. Then you're an asshole. Um, so... Find a way to be positive without hurting others. I mean, that's basically what life is about. If you can do that, if you can get be positive, um, in a realistic scenario without hurting others, you basically unlocked. Congratulations, you've achieved the basics of life. So, hopefully, congratulations. <laughs>